His name is Round. Mr. Short Round. And he'll make sure to remind you to call his friend Dr. Jones. Hey YouTube, what goes on? And welcome to This About Action Figures, bringing you another action figure review. Tonight, taking a closer look at the Indiana Jones Adventure Series short round from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Uh, very excited to have this in my collection. Uh, again, this was not found in a big box store. Cards on the table. I picked it up from the CMD store online. Uh, although this wave is slowly starting to show up at big box locations. Um... Like many of you, I'm going back and re-watching the Indiana Jones franchise uh, for the purpose of the final and fifth Indiana Jones movie coming up, The Dial of Destiny. Uh, it's been a long time since I watched the Indiana Jones films. As I'm re-watching them, I am absolutely loving them. Temple of Doom, obviously, uh, is no exception to that. Uh, and Short Round is just an iconic character uh, in that film. So if you haven't watched one of my reviews before, essentially, we'll take them out of the box. We'll take a close look at them. We'll move them around a little bit. And then my favorite part of all these videos is to do some comparisons with other figures in this line and others. Here's a closer look at the cross sell for this particular wave. It is the build and artifacts. You're getting the Temple of Doom artifact right there from the film. Uh, again, not all of these characters in the wave are from Temple of Doom. Obviously, we do have the new Indy uh, and the new female lead from the movie as well. Uh, short round being on top. I'm not all in on this. I don't buy all these figures. Uh, I do have the Obi-Wan Indy. I have the Raiders Indy. Um, and now I have short round. So I haven't built any of the artifacts yet, but very much enjoying what I have so far. All right, enough talk. Let's get short round out of the box. And here is Mr. Round out of the packaging. And right out of the gate, I didn't even know it came with a soft, good shirt. So that's very cool right there. Uh, Indiana Jones figures are being produced, I believe, by the same manufacturers at Hasbro, the same team, if you will, that does Star Wars Black Series, which does have a lot of soft goods within it. So again, me as a Marvel Legends and G.I. Joe collector, we don't get a whole lot of soft goods. Uh, I know Star Wars doesn't get a lot of accessories, uh, so I'm not going to sit here and say which one is better. Uh, however, uh, right out of the gate, looks pretty good. Uh, a really good amount of accessories come with this guy, which we'll take a closer look at. I did review the Club Obi-Wan Indiana Jones, and I made a comment in that video that it had the most easily lost accessories of 2023. One being this mind-numbingly small diamond right here that just stuck to my finger. Um, this does not disappoint in the options of losing accessories. So uh, we'll take a close look at the accessories now. Then we'll take a close look at the actual figure. We'll move them around and then we'll do some comparison, which is my favorite part of all these videos. So looking at the accessories, there's a fair amount that come with Short Round. The first one being probably the most iconic for this particular character from the film, which will be his baseball cap uh, that he is seen wearing quite often. So there is the cap. Came out relatively well. We'll throw that on his head in a little while. Uh, in terms of caps, we also get an Indiana Jones hat. So we do get his hat here, which I believe Short Round in Temple of Doom does hand the hat. He is in charge of carrying Indy's things quite often throughout the film as his assistant and his his uh, his friend. Uh, we also do get um, a slightly larger accessory for this wave, uh, which is the torch, which again, lots of torches being used in Indiana Jones. So that definitely comes in handy. I would add, if you want a light up torch to go with these, check out Carver Customs on Instagram. Good friend of mine. He literally makes uh, battery charged torches that you can have your figures hold. Uh, runs on like a watch battery concept. They're very cool. I'm looking forward to taking some photos with Indy holding one of those torches sometime soon. Uh, then we also get in some smaller accessories. Here we do get the Indiana Jones voodoo doll. This is an awesome piece with this. As if you've seen Temple of Doom, then you know that at the end of the film, there is a portion where we do have the villain basically using a voodoo doll to try to harm Indy in the big battle at the end. And then we do get a very small uh, knife that will go with short rounds. So decent amount of accessories with this guy. Let's take a close look at him, the figure itself, and then we'll do some comparison. So first taking a look at short round up close with the soft goods on them, we'll take it off. Uh, head sculpt came out looking relatively good. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and try to say it has to be identical to a child actor from back in the 1980s, uh, but it came out well. I like it. Again, you can't see a whole lot with the soft goods shirt. We'll take it off momentarily. Uh, take a close look at what it looks like underneath that. So after peeling away the accessories, uh, they did a nice job layering him. So you do get the uh, piece over the top here, which represents the shirt underneath. 
Uh, this is obviously a soft rubber. Uh, you see as the t-shirt or the wife beater with the suspenders underneath. Um, again, this is a small figure. This is like rocket raccoon size, which we'll compare him to. Don't worry. Uh, he's a child's uh, size figure, which actually is really good because you could use him in a lot of different ways in your collection. Um, but again, looking decent, some folds in the shirt, some folds and ruffles in the back of the pants. Uh, he does have on uh, similar shoes to what he wore, obviously, in the film. Uh, again, not bad. Hair looks okay. So yeah, aesthetics overall in this guy, not bad. We do have even uh, a nice mold here at the pockets here going on on the shirt. Uh, we do have basically like the buttons going down to the part here in the back part of the shirt. So again, overall, decent looking figure. And needless to say, to get the whole experience of short round, got to throw that baseball cap on his head. So that just, again, pops right on there, fits relatively well, push it down. It's not really loose, it's not really falling anywhere. It's going to stay there. Uh, but again, overall figure looks good for what it is. Additionally, as far as accessories go, the build the artifact pieces are in the back. That fits inside of there to basically build that skull with other pieces from other yeah. figures. Hey, lady, you call him Dr. Joe. My professional name. All right, so let's see how this guy moves around. So shoulder will rotate all the way around as you would expect. It goes pretty much out to a T on the side. Uh, there is a rotation, obviously, uh, here at the elbow. Um, no upper bicep, just at the elbow. So that will rotate right there. Single jointed elbow goes about 90 degrees right there. Head will rotate all the way around. It will look down a decent amount. It will look back also a decent amount. Uh, there's some attitude there, which I love the attitude, the pivot with heads. So again, you can see how that works right there. Works very well in terms of that. Um, as far as torso, uh, there is no torso. So you can bend it over, obviously, at the legs. So go far that far forward, that far back at the legs. But again, there is no torso in this figure. It will rotate at the waist. So there, so there is a waist cut. Uh, there is an upper thigh cut right there. It will kick back about that far. So not very far, but far enough to do the trick. It will also articulate and rotate right there at the knee. Uh, foot goes down about that far. Foot goes up about that far. It is on a rocker, so it will rock right there. Splits about that far out on the splits. So again, for a smaller figure, not terrible articulation on this guy. He does essentially what I think he needs to do, but basically he's gonna be standing next to Dr. Jones, holding his stuff and helping him out of tight jams anyway. All right, let's get to my favorite part of these videos and let's do some comparisons. And also just for articulation purposes, you can rotate him to the sides. Uh, so again, you do get that to kind of go right there. So about this far to the side, and about that far to the side right there. So I figured it would make sense to first do some comparisons with some other smaller action figures that are in the six inch scale. So here we do get the Rocket Raccoon from the recent Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 Marvel Legends release. Uh, we do get the Yoda from the Luke and Yoda 2-pack where he fit inside that backpack. And I threw in a much older Franklin Richards, which I believe is the older Marvel Legends, uh, which came in, I think, a Fantastic Four multi-pack. So you can see Short Round is taller. Um, it's actually a nice cross-section of smaller uh, sized figures here, all in that six inch scale. I would think most Indiana Jones collectors would want to see how Mr. Short Round scales with Indiana Jones himself. So here's the OB-1 club version of Indiana Jones, uh, as well as the Indiana Jones from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I do not have the, the Temple of Doom Indiana Jones quite yet, but obviously they'll all be pretty much the same size and scale. So if you're curious what Short Round is gonna look like scaled to Indiana Jones on your shelf, there you go right there. Here's how Mr. Round scales with a Mezco Toys, John Constantine six inch figure, and also the recently released Marvel Legends Ultimate Captain America figure. So again, scaling with a typical adult size six inch figure seems pretty accurate regarding the proportions. So comparisons to more medium sized figures, here he is standing with the NECA Ultimate ALF release, uh, as well as Feral Chetta from the Plunderlings. And every boy needs his dog. So we're going to have Mr. Short Round scaling here with the recent Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Cosmo from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 action figure wave. And if space dogs that can move things with their mind aren't quite your thing, uh, here is Timber from the G.I. Joe Classified Snake Eyes 2-pack scaling with Mr. Round. And as I'm sitting here looking at my work table, I realized one of the best comparisons I could probably make is right in front of me, which is using the G.I. Joe classified snake from the Serpentor figure. Because uh, again, snakes, why did it have to be snakes? 
Sorry for the jarring change in camera angle, uh, but I had to back it up in order to fit this big, bad mother fragger Lobo from McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, who is a, obviously a seven inch scale figure who is just towering over Mr. Round. And last, and as everybody loves to say, certainly not least, here is the Hasbro Indiana Jones Adventure Series Short Round eyeballing the Jazzwares Orange Cassidy AEW Unrivaled figure. You know what? Something tells me these guys get along just great. Just make sure you call him Mr. Juice. All right, everybody. So my closing thoughts on the Indiana Jones short round Hasbro figure is that I like it. It's pretty cool. You're probably going to run into that problem where you have to justify paying full retail price for a figure that's much smaller, just like a rocket raccoon or something of that nature. Uh, he does come with a decent amount of accessories. You get the soft goods shirt, obviously the extra hat. Um, overall, I dig it. But again, it's it's that, that, that just uh, classic thought of, you know, am I paying for something that's that's small at retail? Uh, if you're an indie fan, um, I know there's a lot of you out there, uh, I kind of feel like you need to have this on your shelf with your Indiana Jones, especially if you're a Temple of Doom fan, like many people are. Uh, so again, it does what it needs to do. I enjoy it. Uh, again, cards on the table. I did not get this from a big box location. I picked it up on the CMD store website. Uh, I think I paid somewhere around like $35 or something like that shipped. So not that much of a, of a high price to get this thing in hand uh, a little bit earlier than I would have otherwise. Also wanted to just say that uh, shout out to D Blake Makes, a uh, good friend of the channel. Uh, he makes these awesome signs. If you're unaware of it, you can basically get uh, a plastic sign made um, or 3D printed by him for basically almost any character or figure you might collect. So I'm really rounding out my Indiana Jones shelf where I'll be displaying this cool Indiana Jones uh, sign along with it. So thank you for watching, everybody. It's greatly appreciated. If you're new, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It's free for you. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps us grow the channel tremendously in the March to 5,000 subscribers. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications because that way YouTube will notify you and tell you when we post new content here on the channel, like our weekly toy hunts, reviews, and live streams. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Hit that like button. And for daily toy content and daily toy updates, try checking us out over Instagram and Twitter at disavowed underscore 12. Hey, everybody, if you're going toy hunting this week, please try to remember the three P's of the toy hunt. Pay patience, persistence, but most of all, politeness. Take care, stay healthy, and I'll be seeing all of you at the pegs.